to this video on how to enable and activate the new navigation editor screen in the Gutenberg plugin on WordPress. The navigation editor screen allows users to create and edit complex navigations using a block-based user interface. The aim is to supersede the current menu screen by providing a superior experience whilst retaining backwards compatibility. It's designed to work with both classic and block-based themes, but its primary purpose is as a way for classic themes to explore the world of blocks without requiring a full rewrite of their theme. To enable the nav editor experiment, you first have to be running the Gutenberg plugin. This is the one by the Gutenberg team. To access that from your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, add new, and look for this entry, Gutenberg with this icon, by the Gutenberg team. If you can't find it, search for the Gutenberg plugin and it will usually appear as the third or fourth item. Once it appears, click the button here which will say install now. Mine says activate only because I've previously installed the plugin. Click install now to, to install the plugin. Then return to your plugins page. Look for the item Gutenberg and click Activate. It will then be active. You will see an item in the sidebar saying Gutenberg. Look in the flyout menu when hovering. Look for the item named Experiments and click. You should see an option here for Enable Navigation Screen. Make sure that's checked and then save your changes. Back over in the sidebar under Gutenberg, you'll see a new item, Navigation Beta. This is the navigation screen, so click it. And here you go. Once you've clicked it, you'll be transported to the new navigation editor. The old existing menus, classic menu screen, will still be available here. As you can see in the new navigation editor, you can name your menu, you can assign it a location, and you can switch between menus and also save. When you're ready, you can click to add new menu items such as you should wish. Experiment, there's nothing that can really go wrong here. You can try out different options. And that's really it for testing. Of course, one caveat is that we recommend you do not test this on a production website. Instead, install it on a staging website or a throwaway website, test things out, and then do your proper work on the production website. Always back up your data before testing. We hope you enjoy testing out the navigation editor and the team behind it working on it would love to hear your feedback. Thanks very much.